So what's going on guys, it's GM, it's Vbox here, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos. It really does help me out if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel, like always, it is appreciated. So, the controversial IBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Chris Eubank Jr. is apparently going to be making an announcement soon on who his next opponent is going to be. Apparently this announcement is imminent and three names are being brought up on who could be Chris Eubank Jr.'s next opponent. Like, he could end up fighting somebody totally different from these three names. So don't come on here after he announces the fight and it's not any of these names and say, oh, you said it was going to be these names because these are just what I'm hearing online. These are just what I'm seeing from sources. It could be something totally different. But apparently these... Are the three names being mentioned apparently and Chris Eubank Jr. last fought on February the 4th against a guy called Reynold Quinlan a very limited Australian fighter for the IBO super middleweight title a belt that's not even recognised as a real world title on pay-per-view that pissed a lot of people off because they had to pay to watch it and it was a load of shit <laughs> but yeah here are the three names the first name is Anthony Mundine Anthony Mundine was a super middleweight champion about nearly 10 years ago. He's about 41 years old. Last fight he had was against a guy called Danny Green, a guy who beat Roy Jones Jr. way back, like a few years back, and he lost a controversial points decision. It was at light heavyweight. So I'm guessing this fight, if it happens, would be at super middleweight again. But Anthony Mundane is a very washed up fight, in my opinion. Like, I don't want to see Chris Eubank Jr. fighting guys like Anthony Mundane on pay-per-view. Like, that's just asking to piss people off. Like, why would someone want to pay £10 to watch Chris Eubank Jr. fight Anthony Mundane? A guy who wasn't even a top super middleweight champion 10 years ago. Like, no, no thank you. But the second names are very interesting. Like, apparently Arthur Abraham's in this mix as well. Arthur Abraham, long reign in IBF middleweight champion and long reign in WBO super middleweight champion. Beat guys like Jermaine Taylor. Fought guys like Carl Froch and... Andre Ward beat guys like Martin Murray and Paul Smith twice, Robert Stiegelitz and he lost his WBO super middleweight title in 2016 against top Mexican fighter Gilberto Ramirez, he lost basically every round and this was the first time Arthur Abraham had fought outside Germany in about five years and he just totally got outboxed and outclassed by Gilberto Ramirez. And it'd be interesting to see how Chris Eubank Jr. could handle somebody like Arthur Abraham. But I think Chris Eubank Jr. could have a good chance because of his work rate. Arthur Abraham likes to work for like a minute of each round. Like for the first two minutes of the round, he don't really do much. But then in the last minute of the round, he starts to throw punches. And when he's in Germany, that's what the judges go by. Like he has a massive advantage, even though it... In some rounds, it doesn't look like he's doing anything. He's still winning the rounds. But if he comes over to the UK and tries that, I can see Chris Eubank Jr. beating him with high work rate. And, yeah, just winning a shutout decision. I don't see Chris Eubank Jr. stopping off Abraham. Because I don't see Chris Eubank Jr. being a very big puncher at super middleweight. But he has got a very high work rate that can break guys down. Like we saw it in the Quinlan fight. But I'm telling you now, off Abraham is no Reynolds Quinlan <laughs> at all. This is a veteran. This is a long-reigning world champion. And a very, very tough man. And then the third name, but I don't think this is going to happen. But it's being thrown about and apparently this fighter has got an announcement imminent as well. So it could happen. Stranger things have happened in boxing. Chris Eubank Jr. and James DeGale could happen. That's the third name being mentioned. Even though James DeGale says he doesn't want to fight for Chris Eubank Jr.'s Mickey Mouse World title. James DeGale, who is the IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World. But at the end of the day, money talks and if the Chris Eubank Jr. and James DeGale fight gets a lot of interest and can earn a lot of money, I can see James DeGale taking that. I think he'd be very confident he'd be able to beat Chris Eubank Jr. And I could see that being a very good fight because James DeGale can have a good fight. We saw it when he fought Badu Jack. Like, that was a very good fight. And I'm just thinking with Chris Eubank's work rate, that could end up being a right good fight. Or it could just be totally different and James DeGale could just box Chris Eubank Jr.'s head off because James DeGale is a very good boxer. Whereas Chris Eubank Jr. isn't. He's not the most technically sound guy in the world. But what he does, according is his high work rate, he's very athletic. He's got a fantastic engine. He's got a good chin, Chris Eubank Jr., 
and that could be a very good fight. I like, I definitely pay pay per view to see that fight. I'd pay the ten pound all day. I'd pay fifteen pound to watch Chris Eubank Jr. fight James Tagel. I'd pay a sky price if it was a good undercard as well and stuff, because that's a very good fight for a world title. But yeah, I don't know. These names ain't set in stone. These are just the names I'm hearing. Comment below in the comment section what you guys think of this, and comment below on who you think Chris Eubank Jr. might end up fighting. Because you could have heard something totally different. But this is what I'm hearing from very reliable sources. So comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Sweetboxing.